Hey guys, it is Briar Trout here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So I've been having a pretty rough time trying to get this video up for you guys. I'm never late posting this video. I usually post it the day after Christmas. So I'm posting this very late so that is not good. But I got this new camera and it's just... It's not working for me. <laughs> um, I tried to use it. I already filmed this video. It was filmed maybe like two days ago, but I just had time to edit it tonight. That's why I look so bad because I was planning on editing right now, not filming this again. But um, things don't work out for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's just been like kind of stressful. So I'm kind of just like really annoyed right now. I'm gonna try and figure the camera out or I don't know, maybe return it. Cause honestly, like I'm, this just made me appreciate this camera so much. I know it's not like the best quality camera and it doesn't have like the best sound or whatever, but it always works, has never done me dirty. I can always count on her. So kudos to her. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys all the briar horses that I got for Christmas. Um, again, like I say every year, this is not me bragging at all. It is just me showing you guys the pretty ponies I got this year. I enjoy seeing everybody else's ponies that they got. And you guys seem to enjoy when I share it with you. So I am going to do that. So let's get started. By the way, all these horses are unboxed because as I said, I already filmed this video and I thought that I was done filming this video. So I unboxed them all to put them on my shelves. That's why there are some holes in some places. But yeah, you guys still get the idea. Okay, so the first girl that I got in my stocking was this cute little unicorn from the new unicorn grab bags. Um, so I got probably, I would say that she's my second favorite of the few, of like the whole group, or really the third, because I like the two Alborozos in the whole set. It's really, really pretty. She's almost flawless. She just have one little black pinpoint thing, which I don't think is going to show up. So I'm not even gonna try. But she is really, really pretty nonetheless, and I'm super excited to have her in my collection. Okay, so now for some more stable mates. I got the mom and whatever full set and then this is the full this is very hard to all hold this was much easier when it was still in the box but I really really love the full she has cute little blue eyes and her shading is actually really really nice in her face the dad in the set is really pretty as well there is some major overspray going on in the main but he's really pretty I do really like this mold I wish that there was some more depth in the muscling of the like color because it is like a pretty solid just buckskin I guess it would be and yeah but still really pretty I really like this mold and then the mom which is on a newer mold that I think they came out like last year or something um this is the first I've like gone to take a close look at the mold and it's actually pretty like cute I'm not really a huge fan of the face it kind of like bends a little like a roman nose just a little bit and just the like chin is just a little strange <laughs> but I still think that she's really pretty. I think that she's like the most detailed out of the three, like just because Briar always does amazing bays. So she's pretty like in depth and detailed, which is really nice and is picking up pretty well on camera. So the first traditional model I got, it was actually from one of my best friends um, who isn't a part of the hobby or anything, but she's the only like really close friend that I have that does know about the hobby, um, especially to its especially to its entirety, and that is Jenna, who you guys have seen in a few videos now and also shows up on my Instagram. And she got me Smokin' Double Dutch, who is this adorable little pony. He was a regular one that came out, I believe, two or three years ago now. I'm pretty sure that she got him at Equine Affair this year um, in Massachusetts, or yeah, I think Equine Affair is in Massachusetts. But he is super pretty. He has one brown eye, one blue eye, and he is just super cute. I really do like this mold. It looks very good on him. It looks very cute with this pattern, and i he's the first in the mold on my collection. And yeah, he's super cute. He's looking very cute with all my other little ponies over there, which you guys can't see because it's out of frame. But trust me, he looks really cute with all of them. And thank you so much, Jenna, for the pony. I was very surprised that she got it. When she went into the store, she was like talking to the people and asking them what, like if this pony was LSQ or, L or PSQ or whatever. And they definitely had no clue what she was talking about. But um, I'm glad to see that she was trying to use the lingo. I thought that was very cute. 
Okay, so now what probably every single person got for Christmas this year, I got Justify. Well, every single person in the hobby. <laughs> but yes, Justify. He is super cool. He was the Triple Crown winner this year. Um, and he has the cute little fancy flower thing, which is really cool. The only problem with him is he came with quite a few flaws. The main one being this white something that happened, which is just so annoying because he is so pretty and I really really like him. I'm going to try and get it off. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to but it's not a huge deal. It's on his offside so you can't see it when I'm displaying him but I don't think that he's gonna be a show model now just because he does have a few other flaws like this like little gooky stuff over here. But he looks really nice on my shelves. He adds to my cigar, not cigar, uh, my Carrick. Carrick? I think that's the full name. Uh, Conga now. So I'm happy with that. His shading is super nice. It actually picks up really well on camera. We do really love that. Wow, he's really shaded right here. Like, it's a little insane. And he has a really cute face. I really do love this mold, and I love this mold in a chestnut. So super happy to have in my collection. Not too sad that I won't be able to show him just because I already have so many other thoroughbreds. But yeah, he's cute. Also, what most people got for Christmas this year, I got the Holiday Horse. I forgot her name. I think it starts it starts with a C. It's like, uh, I have the box over there somewhere. But uh, I already took off her tack just because I like taking the tack off the horses. I don't know. Um, the only one I still have it on is Peppermint Kisses just because I wasn't really a huge fan of like the horse itself. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just keep the tack on. She's right there. You guys can see her. Um, but she's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, I love the like silver and gold from last year. Who you guys right here? Oh, they're in pajamas. Sorry. Um, but, oh, what's his name? What was the horse's name from last year? Winter Wonderland? Was that it? I feel like it was, but he's right here. He's very pretty. We love him. He, she's super pretty. I really like the like kind of blue undertones that you kind of see. I don't know. I see them like mostly like in her legs and the shading and stuff and she's just a super pearly white and her eyes are pretty and blue. Can you guys see them? So yeah, I am a big fan of her. The only problem is that she came with like a whole bunch of like black speckles that yeah it's picking up pretty well which um apparently was a big problem because i posted it on my instagram story and a lot of people are just like oh i thought i was the only one so yeah if you do take off the tack uh she's probably gonna have some little black specks but somebody told me that they just took their finger and scraped them right off so i might try and like getting an eraser or something and trying to like erase them off but um she's really pretty i think that she's gonna look great on my shelves she's like but up there so you guys can't even see her when I'm filming anyway most of the time I really try to get like all the Christmas horses from every year just to like have them I think I have every single one from like since I've been like serious collect seriously collecting so I'm very happy with that okay next so another unicorn I got Zena or yeah I think it was like Z-E-N-E -E. so Z Zena Zena I don't know um, but she is super pretty, a nice pearly white, and look at the sparkle in her mane and tail. I'm absolutely obsessed. I've recently, like, I think like two years ago maybe, I had absolutely no unicorns in my collection, but I've just been, like, obtaining so many. So guys, I'm, like, kind of sick. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I'm very congested, and it's not good, but I gotta film this video. But she is so nice and pretty. I'm literally obsessed with her. I really do like this mold. My um, Kaylee, who's over there, which you guys can't even say, uh, really made me love the mold and made me want to get the original Yasmin, so I might try and get her at some point or another, but they do take up a lot of space. She's very long, as you guys could probably tell. She basically falls too, which is always a plus. Okay, so the last pony that I got this year was Prism, and oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this model. So if you guys know, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my Briarfest vlog or not, but he was the one model that I didn't come home with this year that like I really wanted and thought that I was going to be able to get. But everywhere I saw him, he was extremely overpriced. And, or just like didn't see him at all. Like they were all sold out. Um, he was a flagship model from this year, or yeah, I think it was, I, he doesn't have a date on him, so I can't really tell. So pretty. 
and he pops so well on my shelves. I'm gonna have him right there in the corner, right here. So you guys will probably be able to see him in some videos. So that's really nice. He just like, just like, such an eye catcher, and I am absolutely obsessed with him. He's such like a nice gloss, and Briar did an absolutely amazing job on him. He has really. He has really, really nice markings, and it's just overall really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, shut up. Oh, I would definitely be saying that he is the favorite pony that I got this year. I don't want to say he's my new favorite decorator, but like, I don't know. I really do like love all of my decorators, so it's very hard to pick one. Basically, I'm obsessed with him. I think that he's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, those are all the ponies I got. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry it took so long to get out. Hopefully this will be coming out tonight as I'm filming this. Um, so I'm going to go edit this now and hopefully do a good job editing it and not too rushed. But we're going to try. I really want to get this video out for you guys because people have been like asking me where it is. Because usually I get it out pretty good. But you guys know I'm really taking an L with YouTube. Uh, but we're going to try to improve, guys. Like, it's there's only room for improvement. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Tell me in the comments below what you guys got for Christmas or who your favorite pony was that you got. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. Follow me on Instagram, at AccessWhereITrot. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So uh, most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!